What's up, my fiery achievement goers? Mayhem Blizz, we're playing Firewatch for the 41000G. It's returned to Xbox Game Pass, so this video is for the Donnies that missed it the first time around. Uh, apologies if you've already got this one. So we'll be getting the 41000G in just around one and a half hours, so let's get started. So at the start of the game, we have some dialogue options to select to proceed. It doesn't matter what option you choose here, so I just mashed through and selected the left option. So when you spawn in the lift, look in the bottom right hand corner and interact with the backpack with the right trigger. And then we're going to wait for the lift door to open and head over to our truck. And interact with the truck with the right trigger to head inside. So with each of these introductory scenes, there'll be some dialogue options that we need to select from. Obviously, like I said before, it doesn't matter what you choose, so just mash through them. So this scene then, if you hold the left stick in, you can sprint. So we just need to get down to here to end this scene. Same with this scene then, we're just going to take the path in front and then we'll come across a log that we need to press the A button to jump over it. And then here then, to proceed on, we need to interact with the journal. And then here we're going to follow the mud path. And as soon as you look at the deer at the end of the path, that will end this scene. And then lastly, we need to head up the lookout tower head on inside, and then we've got a few objects to interact with up there. So interact with the door to head inside, and then when you enter on the right hand side will be a generator switch, interact with that to turn the lights on, and then do a 180. On the desk is a radio that we can pick up. And then throughout the game we'll need to speak to Delilah across the radio. You'll see the reply symbol in the left hand corner, so we want to hold the left trigger to show all of the prompts and then right trigger to select a prompt. Um, I always select just the first option to speed up the completion. So that has completed your introduction to the game and now we're starting day one. So after that dialogue at the start, we want to look onto the left side of the desk and interact with the radio. And then we've got some options to select from to proceed on. So we need to do a 180 and look at the map in the middle. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see and it? then we have to confirm that we've seen it with the left trigger and then right trigger again. And then lastly, she'll want us to look out the window towards the fireworks. And then once you've acknowledged that you've seen the fireworks, we can head on out. So when you are in these long walking stages, you do not need to reply to Delilah. It's only when you're sort of picking up notes or in the lookout tower that you need to reply. So you'll see me do it and I'll mention when you do need to reply, but for the most part, don't reply to her just so it uh, speeds up the completion as there are some scenarios where we need to wait for her dialogue to stop uh, to continue. So head straight on out of the tower and past that sign and over this log and then you'll come to this supply cache and then what you want to do is input the code 1234. All of the supply caches have the same code that she mentioned in her dialogue. And the only thing we need to grab out here is the rope. And then once you grab the rope, we're going to head straight on from there. And 
and then we'll need to interact with this little stump to attach our rope and rappel down. So we're making our way slightly to the right. and past this campfire. And then we're going to go underneath this broken down tree, head through these bushes, and then you'll come across a lake. So we don't need to interact with the two girls in the water. We can just skip over the log here and follow this stream. So then you'll come to this open area with a supply cache on the right hand side. You can open it and find a torch inside, but there are only two occasions where it's particularly dark uh, to navigate, but it's such a small uh, path that I didn't bother picking it up. So head inside the cave and then head up the rocks. There'll be a very small cutscene with that guy shining a torch at you. And then after that, we can just carry on proceeding up. Pass this little portaloo then, and then you'll want to head back up the lookout tower. Once you get to the top, we need to interact with the bed to report the vandalism. So this is the left trigger and right trigger. So this is one of the responses that we need to do to proceed. And then we just need to wait and get through the other responses to end day one. And then that will get you the good first day achievement for a 100 gamer score for completing day one. Like we did before then, on the left side of the desk is the radio to pick up. And then here we need to interact with Delilah. So left trigger, right trigger to respond. And then once you've done that, we can head on outside. So then from the lookout tower, we're going to rotate left and then follow this mud path. And we're basically heading back, so past the portaloo and back down the rocks. And then we're dropping back into the cave, making our way through there. And then when we exit, we're gonna head right instead of left. So then pass this log, and then we're gonna press right trigger to get through this bush. And then again, following this mud track. And then what we're essentially doing is following the telephone wires. So if you do get lost, just follow those to get back on the correct path. So at the bottom of this hill, we're going to go left, just past this rock and over this log. And again, still following that telephone wire, you can see at the top of the hill there, that's where we do eventually need to go, but there is a missable achievement. So we're gonna head over to this right hand side. And then once you get to the top here, there is a turtle that we can interact with on this rock. So pick that up and then we're going to hold the B button to adopt him. And that will get us the Love Turts achievement for a 100 gamer score. 
and then we're just going to jump down here past the supply cache. And then up and over this rock. And then we're essentially heading up this hill. And then around this rock here, we're going to make our way back down. So then we can jump down these rocks here instead of walking all the way around. And then you'll come to this area where there's a backpack on a tree, swipe it to make it drop, and then interact with it again to pick it up. And then inside is a disposable camera we will need for an achievement later on. So we've now got some rope from that so we can interact with this rope hook and rappel down. And then interact with this other one. And then once you drop down here, we can get our camera out by pressing right on the D-pad. And then we just want to press the right trigger to take all of the photos to use up the entire film. And then that will get us the Shutterbug achievement for a 100 gamer score. And then once you get here, we're going to rappel down here. And then we're going to follow this stream. And this should look familiar as we are coming up to the lake where we found the two girls and the campfire. So here we are then back at the lake but from the opposite side so we want to head through the bushes like before under the tree and then we're going to go past that campfire and then instead of heading back to the lookout tower we're going to rappel down here to the right hand side. So follow that path and then at these rocks we're going to head right and then we're going to hug this right mountainside and then instead of hugging it here we're going to head straight and then hug this right mountainside. And then a little bit to the left there we're going to follow this stream. And then right at the waterfall, underneath this rock, you'll come to a campsite. We need to interact with the note on the tent. It looks like someone left a note. Intriguing. Maybe you should read it. And you don't need to read it, we can just report it to Delilah. So finishing day two, we'll get the back to work achievement for a hundred gamer score, and we're starting day three. Hey Henry. Yeah. Um, what do you look 
So this one's pretty short. All we need to do is find some three panels to finish fixing up the door. We're going to head down the tower. And then there's going to be a plank on the right here. And there's going to be another plank leaning up against the stairs. And then the last plank is just around these stairs on the left. So we want to head back up the tower and fix these to the door. After you get those boards applied, there'll be some dialogue and that will end that day. Pretty short one. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. Day nine then, all we're doing is having some conversation with Delilah and that is the only thing to do on this day. On to day 15 then, another short one. All we need to do is head over to the desk, pick up the radio, have a conversation with Delilah and Julia, and that will end that day. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. Hi, Jules. Oh, you sound tired. Day 33 then, we need to pick up some supplies. We're going to sort of hug this right side until we come across our ropes that we've used to rappel down. And then we're gonna climb back up those. Once up the top, head across this log and follow the path. And then you should see the supply cache in front of us. It's going to be the same combination, one, two, three, four, as usual. And then we're going to pick up the crate in the middle. And then we just need to report that to Delilah and that day is done. Another easy day of chit chattery. We just need to head outside our tower and just look at the fire that's going on, the distant smoke, and get through the dialogue. Day 76 then, we have a bit of walking to do. Again, we were walking similar paths that we've walked before. We're going back to the lake. So past this campfire, under the tree, through the bushes, and then we're going to pick up a clipboard on this rock here. So pick that up and then head over to the right hand side, across this, and then we can pick up the radio after some dialogue. After getting whammoed in the head then, we're going to do a 180 and go back the way we came. So back through the lake, into the bushes, under the tree, and then past the campfire. And then what we did before is we went right and rappelled down there, but we're going to go left and there'll be another rope for us to climb up. I hope you're following this all okay guys, we're about halfway through. So we wanna head over right of that rock and then follow this muddy path. We're going to go slightly left, hugging these bushes to the left hand side and then around this rock. Following this muddy path again, 
and then taking a right here And then you'll come to this fence, you want to head right of it, head down this hill, and then if you go left of this tree we can just head across this river. And then you'll come across these snowmobiles that we just want to pass. And then you want to drop down here. And then you'll go through this little archway. And then on the left hand side you want to go over this hill. Through these fences. And then you want to pick up this memo on this log. It doesn't matter if you store it. Or if you just put it back down. And then in the tree we want to pick up the axe. And then we're going to head back the way we came. And then this tree trunk here, then we can chop it down with the right trigger. And then interact with it with the A button to head across it. And then when you get here, you're all good to just get through the dialogue and that will end that day. That will get you the Someone's Out Here achievement for a 100 Gamer School for completing Day 76. And then we're good to go. So we're going to head to the right hand side, you will have a red tree on the left hand side there, so you just want to turn right around these bushes and then down these rocks. So we're going to head back past the cave. So you should be familiar with this route by now. And when you get to the cave, uh, you might want to go into your settings and turn the brightness right up, as this is one of the sections which is quite dark, um, but it is quite small. So you just want to go right of that gate, and then when you get here, you want to turn left, and then that's how you exit. So we're going to turn right instead of following the stream to the left, past this log. Up here following the telephone wires. Then you'll come across this sign, we want to turn right. And then just over this lip you'll see the old cabin. So we want to head inside here for a missable achievement. We're going to head downstairs. And then in the corner is an old stove that we want to interact with. And then a raccoon will come out. And that will get us the life and times of a raccoon carter achievement for a 100 gamer score. And then we are going to head back, straight on from the old cabin. We'll come across some bushes that we need to get through. So here are the bushes here, we need to clear the way there, and then we need to chop down this trail with our axe. And then on a tree trunk here we need to locate a cassette tape. Once you pick that up, then you'll get the old Shoshone achievement for a 100 gamer score. And then you want to head back through the bushes and to the right. You do want to take a left just behind this tree here. I carried on. I thought you could go through these bushes, but you can't. So we're going to head back and wrap ourselves around to the right hand side here. We're going to head back. So here we are then back in this area, cave on the left hand side, we want to follow the stream 
on the right. And then once you get to this section, we want to stop following the stream and head up to the right hand side. And then you want to rappel down here. We then want to go up this hill and slightly to the right, you'll see this fence. And then we need to interact with the gate to open it with our ax. <coughs> And then in front of us is a post that we can interact with. This will initiate a small cutscene with a bee stinging us and we'll get the B plot achievement for a hundred gamer score. And then we want to jump down this rock, press A to jump this gap, and then carry on. So that B plot achievement was slow to pop, but we did get it eventually. Make our way past here. In this sort of open area, we're gonna head inside this tent. Just on the right of inside the tent, you wanna interact with this hard case. Inside, you wanna pick up this wave receiver. Then we wanna head over to the desk, interact with these papers and then pick up this black box. And then we're pretty much done with this day. All we need to do is head back up the hill jump this gap again and then all we need to do is look at the column of smoke and there'll be some dialogue and that will end that scene Day 77 then, we need to use our wave receiver. We're gonna head in a diagonal direction from the lookout tower. We're going to wrap to the right hand side around here. And then we're gonna to go to the left hand side towards this rocky area. There'll be a bush that we need to clear right here. And then we need to clear another one. And then we're going to interact with this backpack. And then we do need to interact with it again to pick it up. And then once you've got that, we're going to head back to the lookout tower. There is some dialogue going on here, so it is slowing us down. So in line with that smoke and then left. And then you can see the lookout tower in the distance. And then we need to interact with the Walkman taped to the door. And that'll be it. We'll just have to listen to the recording, choose some dialogue, and that will end the day. We're on to day 78 then, and completing day 77 will give us the Burn the Place Down achievement for a 100 gamer score. Again, these do take a while to pop sometimes. Um, so the start of this day, we need to get through this dialogue and then once that's finished, we can exit the tower. No, it's not because I'm hungover. Someone 
pining to be Henry in Two Forks called a lookout in another sector early this morning and said that I knew what caused the Wapiti Meadow fire. Um, so now we've got the key that unlocks the gate in the cave. So we need to head back to the cave. So obviously we've got the tree on the left hand side again, the red tree, the bushes on the right hand side and then drop down these rocks again. Exactly the same path that we've been taking before. And then once in the cave, then walk up to the gate and interact with it to use the key. And then we need to interact with it again to give it a bit of a shove. So then we're just going to follow the path here. And then when you get to these rocks, we need to use our axe to loosen some of them. And then we can make our way through. And then we just need to keep heading on, jumping on some of these rocks and jumping down from them. You can only really go a one way here. And then when we exit the cave, we want to go straight on. And then we want to interact with this handmade sign to move it out of the way. Underneath that sign is some pittens that we need. Head up this ledge then, and then on the left hand side, we're going to use a piton to secure our rope and rappel down. And then where we're going to go is back to the cave. So now we've got our pittons, we can go back through that gate again, and then we can use the pittons to secure ourselves, and we'll be able to rappel down in the cave further. So up here to the trees and then we're going to make a left hand turn past this log the cave is here so it's a bit dark so I do a 180 to kind of guide myself and walk backwards but essentially you know we've, we've done this trip a few times so it's to the left and then you will have the gate here so Use the key again. I don't know why I didn't stay unlocked. <laughs> and then we're going to use the pitten on the rock here. So once you get down here, again, it's just a one-way path. So make your way through. Then you'll come to this area with a body on the floor. And then we need to make our way out of the cave and then report that body to Delilah. And again, it was a little dark there, but once you exit the gate, you obviously take a left. And then once outside, you're going to report the body and that will end that day. So our final day then, we are leaving the lookout tower for the last time. And then we're going to head to the first cache that we went to. So past this sign. And then past this rock here. There we've got the supply cache that we're heading past. 
And then when you get to these rocks, we are heading right of those, past this tree trunk. And then if you remember, we need to repel ourselves down here. And then we're going to hug the right side here. So where it's sort of elevated, and that's where we're going. And then just on the right hand side here where it says Henry, there is a cassette tape. Interact with that. And then once you've got that cutscene finished, we can head on. So again, this should look familiar. We'll have the campfire, but to the right, instead of the log, we need to clear this trail. And then heading to the right hand side, we're following this stream. And then when you get here, obviously the cave is on the right hand side there, but we're turning left. We we're heading down this right hand side. Following the telephone wires. And then the sign in front of us. We're going to take a left this time. Over this log. Again, using the telephone wires as a guide, we're going to take the left hand rock that we jumped over before. And then before scaling up this full hill to the left hand side will be a bush trail that we need to cut through. So I nearly missed it. So here we can use the axe on this. Don't get stuck on a bush like me. <laughs> and then here we're going to take a right. And then right of the fence. And then you can see this cable car. Get in the cable car, and that will end the scene. Last bit then, all we need to do is head into this lookout tower. We are going to head inside and interact with the headset on the left side there. There'll be some dialogue to get through. Hello, is anybody there? Once that's finished, we can head outside and head after that helicopter. I didn't actually see it fly past the window there, but here it is then. Board the helicopter. So then that's the Firewatch achievement for 100 gamer score for completing the last day and getting you the full 1000G. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Apologies if you've already completed this one. Again, this video is kind of for the people who missed it when it was first released to Game Pass. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. If you could drop a sub on the channel and get help me get to 2k subs, that would be sick. And I'll keep dropping videos like this. Take care, guys. I'll see you in the next one.